What's up, you guys? It's Thursday. <laughs> uh, the dog was not feeling good yesterday, and hopefully she's okay. The vet gave some, I don't know, medication for her. So it's uh, that time. I spent the morning filming a little clip for you folks. Uh, it's going to be at the end of this vlog, so check it out at the end if you want to. I, I decided to put it at the end because it's kind of long and I want to bore you folks. Uh, but it's basically a little uh, show and tell of uh, some of the older movies that I got, the DVDs and whatnot that I enjoy. So anyway, let's get this uh, Thursday going. I gotta get to work and we'll catch you there. So because I don't have time, I'm gonna have to do this at work. So I'm taking my oatmeal to work and making it there. There is no measurements here, just guesswork. Like that, and I'll be able to heat up some water at work. Take the bowl, take the water. This are uh, questions. If you guys saw the interview video. <laughs> Get a piggy. Okay, so it's lunchtime, I'm at work, and I'm gonna attempt to make the oatmeal at work on my disgusting workbench table here in the back. Full of stains, there's my bowl, here we go. Got the water and a really crappy microwave. I don't even have the measuring cup, great. There's my spoon that I bought from Walmart, my blue spoon and get ready to heat up this. I didn't even bring nothing for nothing. There's no sugar in this, no nothing. It's just water and oats. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Probably not gonna be the best idea. But it was successful. Looks like we put just, just enough water or, uh, I don't like it too watery. Hmm, okay, it worked. Well, I should have brought more to eat than oatmeal because now I'm pretty hungry. Uh, and there's still an hour left before I can go home and get something to eat. And of course, it has been pretty dead today, but we made some good sales, I guess, and decently. Uh, so, and Thank God I got spared with a little bit of uh, the daily rush of politics. It wasn't too bad today. <laughs> it was still some. Oh, anyway, I get ready to get out of here soon and get some something to eat and try not to stop off somewhere before I get home because I got stuff at home. But I may be weak and might stop off somewhere. a little bit and went to my friend's place and he has this which I've tried before in the past and they've added a couple of flavors and I am no way no way I like licorice and this is probably the best licorice I've ever tasted <laughs> like you know that tastes like nice. <laughs> I know, but you want to. I understand. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll take all those. What are you gonna try? What What is it? Let's see. What is this? this oh, is I got right in the flavored. Line. Oh, so you got. So I'm either gonna have rotten egg or buttered popcorn. Do the rotten egg. Well, I can't tell which one is which. Oh, I see. Each color has a good one and a bad one. This looks like rotten. To do it, I'll try it. 
Alright, spin away, dude. What is it? Coconut or spoiled milk. Oh, God! So it's a pure white one. Pure whites? Yep, one of the pure white ones. Let's see that guy. Spoiled milk. <laughs> <laughs> what does that taste like? Spoiled milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man, that's it for me. <laughs> oh, that's pretty horrible. <laughs> oh, my battery's gonna die. <laughs> All right. You have a choice of either moldy caramel che corn or moldy oh cheese. What is which one, is it? This? Yeah, like this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm guessing it's moldy cheese. <laughs> God, man. <laughs> Still taste spoiled milk in my mouth. Hey right, you guys, we're coming to the end of the vlog here. As you can see, I had gone over to my friend's house at the last minute. That kind of wasn't planned, but anyway, he came over as I was getting ready to finish up work, and he, I didn't go over yesterday, which that kind of was the plan, but the dog got sick, went home to check on the dog, and everything like that. So, today was like, okay, he came over, uh, wife was having a girls night out so <laughs> I went over to to hang out with the boys tonight it was fun he did shoot however he did uh, take my camera which I didn't notice until after I got home and checked on some stuff on the camera that he filmed me uh, messing around on his uh, video virtual reality video game system again <laughs> I've been really captivated by it because it's just really neat I've never experienced nothing like that so he uh, filmed about a good five minutes of that goofing around uh, some of it's pretty frightening I did play one called the visitor uh, that one is just I, I tell you that stuff just it gets for me at least it gets a little too scary <laughs> it's pretty uh, <laughs> Anyway, also uh, stick around at the end of this uh, vlog. I did show off a few of my uh, DVDs and Blu-rays laying around here. So if you're interested in that, I decided to stick it at the end of this vlog in case nobody wanted to sit through it. That's why this vlog is like 30, 30 minutes long or something like that. Anyway, but uh, while I was there, as you saw, we played the Bean Boozled, uh, Boozled Bean Challenge, which is those rotten jelly beans. Oh, this stuff is nasty. But he did give me something that uh, I've tried before, it's really neat. And he gets them from a friend of his that lives in Wisconsin. And they're uh, cheese curds. Yeah, I actually really like these things. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. I've never tried this one before. So go ahead and try this on the camera. This is, um. Mixed cheddar. It has a real sharp cheddar taste to it, the yellow one or the orange one. I'm colorblind. Hmm. Anyway, he has a relative or somebody who lives in Wisconsin and sends them to him. I mean, he had a whole bunch of it, and he just wasn't eating them fast enough. So he gave me a bag. I said, cool, I'll have one. I'm going to try it with you on the, on the vlog. I'm a pretty big sucker for that kind of stuff anyway. Like my hat. I bought this in um, Arizona at a yard sale. Now was something else here. Okay. I showed these in the 4th of July vlog when I bought them. These are the um, sunflower seeds, the Old Bay seasoning. Um, believe it or not, I got addicted to these. I've been eating them up, as you saw yesterday. I didn't film it, but I ate so darn many of them. Um, I think I put chapstick on my lips or something because, man, it really messed me up. 
Uh, these are pretty good. I, I like these. Cheese curds. I wonder how fattening this is. Okay. I think I'll stop eating a couple of these right now. One more. For good luck. <laughs> anyway. Well. It has been an interesting day. And that's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Dinner night. So we'll check it out out, see where we go. And then guess what? Saturday, JW's radio, main channel. Check that out. So yep, yeah, I forgot the sugar today. The oatmeal tasted very bland. I've been trying to stay healthy, eat healthier. In a sense, uh, Santee over at Go Arizona Ghost Riders kind of reminded me of that. Just, you know, with his uh, his doing his things on the oatmeal and everything like that. It kind of reminded me, let's get let's try to get back into, the, into shape and just try to eat a little healthier. Um, so, anyway, I did uh, gain quite a bit of weight during the, uh, some of the, the, the Bat Jack JW videos. I look back at that and go, man, that's pretty... <laughs> anyway, I won't, won't get into that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to sign off for now. Stay tuned if you want to. Here is the uh, DVD collection. I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's a cool movie. A couple over here. And I got this one here. That's the uh, three pack. You gotta have a Vincent Price movie or two. There's another good one. So some of you guys, I, <laughs> I'm a really big movie fan. I buy a lot of movies because, well, it makes me happy. And I say if something makes you happy, uh, run at it. Don't walk. So here's just a couple of a uh, few movies that I got. You guys see my kind of my John Wayne collection in one of the vlogs here, but I'll show you some of the other ones I like. I'm a big Clint Eastwood fan, obviously. <laughs> so this is actually one of my favorite movies. I like that movie a lot. It's funny. You got the, this is another one of my favorite McQueen movies. Unfortunately, this was his last movie, and really is a really good movie. You know, he's, even though he's older and it's his last movie and everything like that, but, you know, it is hard to kind of stack up to Bullet and stuff like that. Let's see what else we got. Oops. We got Papillon. That's another good one of his. Let's see what else we got in here. The House on Haunted Hill. Oh, this, they actually colorized this one. I usually watch it in black and white. You see, I got it from the bookstore for eight dollars and forty cents. Their their prices are kind of high, but if you trade in stuff to them and get credit, that's uh, the way to go. Here's another great movie, The Seven Ups. Uh, if you haven't seen this, and you're a Roy Scheider fan, this is definitely. This is like basically, they knew that the success of the French Connection. So he basically carries on his character, and it's just like all about Roy Scheider, really. So it doesn't get any much more Scheider than that. One of my favorite Bronson films, The Mechanic. You can see it in that three-pack, but I found out through the three-pack that they actually cut part of the movie out. I guess they needed to save some space on the disc or something like that, so the... You gotta get the, the actual DVD. I'm waiting to see if they put this on Blu-ray. Don't know if they did or not, but really great movie. Duh, hmm. Alright, yeah. I bought it because of that. Her. <laughs> French Connection, obviously. Gotta have this one. This is a great movie. They have this on Blu-ray. I haven't come around to buying it yet. But uh, still my favorite movie. Let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, The Unforgiven. Two disc special edition. Eh. 
Anybody who doesn't want to get killed better clear out the back. So going on over to the other side here, the Blu-ray side, you got The French Connection 2 with Gene Hackman. It's a good film. Uh, Death Wish 3. Death Wish is, uh, the series is one of my favorite uh, Charles Bronson series. I think it's really neat. Let's see what else. You know, <clears throat> a lot of people didn't like this movie, but this is actually one of my favorite movies. It, even though it's not really, I don't know why... It could have been its own movie, really, because it has nothing to do with the Halloween trilogy. If you're familiar with the uh, the original, like John Carpenter's Halloween, was that '78? I think it came out. So, but this is actually really cool because I think that this actor right here, if you don't know who that is, that's Tom Atkins. He's a really cool, underrated actor, I think. Or a really weird uh, horror movie that I saw this in the uh, $5 bin at Walmart or something like that. I had to buy it. Because this is at one time, this was really hard to find. This Silent Night, Deadly Night. Some, you know, goofy Christmas horror movie. And now the funny thing is, Mickey Ro there was so much uh, controversy about this. Mickey Rooney actually said, how dare they... Yeah, uh, you know, uh, touch Christmas. You can't, you know. The, uh, he was he shouted out against this movie, and uh, he actually starred in part five. I think it was. <laughs> so kind of goofy. So back to some good stuff. This is one of my favorite uh, dual whatever uh, pack movies. The Every Which Way But Loose and Any Which Way You Can. Clint Eastwood and Clyde. It's uh, it's supposedly he was supposed to pass on the role. They they gave it to him because they wanted uh, Burt Reynolds to do this, but he liked it so much he did it, and obviously it wound up being just a classic. But either way, I think Burt Reynolds would have done it too. But uh, gotta have Clint in this one. This is just definitely I've I've watched these uh, many 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 times. And for punishment, I have Jaws on Blu-ray. I don't watch that very much because I don't enjoy being that scared all the time. Now, coming up is a new movie, but it's got a couple of old dudes in it that I like. Robert Redford and Nick Nolte. Very funny. This, I think, was... I, I feel this is a total underrated movie when it came out. I saw the trailer for this when it came out. I bought my ticket right away to go see it in the theater and laughed my ass off the whole time. This is funny as hell. Bunch of Duke films right there. The African Queen with Humphrey Bogart. I like a lot of Bogart films. This one he's gotten a little older, and it's in color. I usually you don't see Bogie in color. Of course, the uh, Dirty Harry collection. I'd hang 'em high. High Plains Drifter. Fistful of dollars. What else we got in here? Joe Kid, I saw that at Costco, and I saw this at Walmart. I had to get this. This was this I think came out as like a Father's Day special or something like that. Um, I didn't buy it for my father; I bought it for myself. <laughs> the this is one of my favorite movies, even though I hate the forest scene, but it is one of my favorite ones. Of course, uh, that. <laughs> I love that movie. Okay. For a few dollars more, I scoop that up for a few bucks. Definitely. Um, if you have not seen The Wild Bunch, shame on you. This is one of the... This is a... This movie, I think, means so much to everything is because... <clears throat> this is just... This, this, to me, changed a lot of the rules. Sam Peckinpah busted out with this thing in 1969, I believe it was. I'm pretty sure, yeah, 1969. Right there, if the camera will focus. And I think this changed a lot of things because the amount of uh, violence and blood that was in it, you know, it's, if you notice, everything pretty much after this point had some sort of blood in it. Heck, even, uh, you know, John Wayne's film started to add some blood in it. If you look at uh, like Real Lobo, Big Jake, and stuff like that, they actually start to add some uh, pretty heavy amount of blood, you know, for those movies. And mind you, 
that's what I like about these old movies is because you always got to remember back. I mean, this is in the 70s, this is in the 60s, and you know, and all that. They, nobody ever saw stuff like that. It's like a taxi driver. Where is that? Right here. Oh, the pile's falling. Taxi driver. You know, this came out in the 70s. No, people were floored when they saw the ending of this film. And, you know, and I, even myself, I, I get shocked by it. The, the ending of this movie. Nobody saw stuff like that. That was, that was crazy. You know, they just, uh, man, that was, that was some hardcore stuff. You know, and they, it got, you know, notably it got, uh, in the end, they actually was forced to drain the color out of it to get it past the rating board. Yeah, they, they wouldn't allow it. They were just, they wouldn't give them an R rating. So instead of cutting anything, they actually, uh, drained the color, which I guess I would rather have that than them cut something. But unfortunately, I wish that when this Blu-ray came out, I wish they would have uh, re restored the color. But I guess it's part of its, it, it's part of its, uh, whatever you know, its its thing. If you want to, say, I guess I'm probably saying that wrong. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> Godfather entire collection. And yes, it includes part three. <laughs> A lot of people don't like part three. I don't care for it as much. I bought this because. It was really cheap at Target. I don't know what it was. It was like on sale or something. It was really cheap. In fact, the DVD version was more expensive. And good old Patton. Always got to bust that out on Memorial Day or something and watch it. It's a great movie. And what else we got in here? Above the Law. The Shining. Jack. <laughs> All right, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, got a couple horror movies, some ones that maybe nobody's heard of. Phantasm that came out in like eighty something. I like that one. Oh, oh, yeah. here we got some other ones back here stashed away. Oops, sorry for the. Don't freak out. This is cool. I found this at the bookstore, and I I I snatched this up quick. This is a cool movie. I like this movie, The Towering Inferno. And who, I mean, you got Steve McQueen, Paul Newman, William Holden, Faye Donaway. I mean, you got to buy this. Look at this. It's even got more people. More other guys in it that we... <clears throat> and uh, my hero in the gun business or gun world, Bob Munden. The fastest man with a gun that ever lived. I bought this DVD on uh, Amazon. Absolutely great. God rest his soul.